Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure showcase and review we're going to be looking at the 2011 Japanese exclusive Bathing Ape Green Convoy figure. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to unbox him live in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. We're going to have a detailed look at him in both of his modes to help you decide how you want to display him and see all the new deco that is in fact all over him. We can then do a quick comparison with him and his original generation oneself. And also, as I'm lucky enough to have the red version, you can make out that the legs there are brown and there's the other Bathing Ape logo there. We can do a quick comparison with that one as well. So, for those of you who are unaware, I've never seen this figure. There's a clothing company or clothing brand name as ba named Bathing Ape. And shortening it, they call it Bape. So this is known as the Bape Green Camo Optimus. And I suppose, let's be honest, in today's terminology, it would be known as a crossover. Exactly that, because that's pretty much what it is. So they've used two brands and they've merged together to make a transformer. Now, the box is an exact replica, just of course, with different images of the original Optimus Prime or Convoy, as he was known in Japan's box. So this is the same size box. It didn't come with a flap it came exactly like this obviously the only difference was that you had the different artwork of the different figure on it there is the original 1984 battle scene you can see there and there we've got some images of the trailer and what you can do with it so let's have a look at it now these figures can be quite sought after because they were store exclusives so they weren't like an e-hobby um they were a little bit more scarce than that i think to be honest and let's have a look at it. So I know the figure's been taken out, but I think it was just checked. I don't think it was ever displayed, but I'm going to take it out and I'm definitely going to be displaying it. So luckily enough, it looks like it's a cam shell, so I can just open it straight out. Yes, it is. That's not very good for the video though. So let's stand it up like so. We have a green roller, which is brilliant. Uh, we've got, do you know what? I'm going to leave his gun no, I'm not. I'm going to put his fist on. Of course I'm. I'm going to take the trailer out very carefully so you can see where it was held in. The trailer's exactly the same, just again, different colour concept. I was checking the stamp. There's no stamp in there, just in case people wanted to know. Uh, but we've got the we've got the stamp there, but not the number, the, the circle stamp inside there. The cab is brilliant. It's great to hold these cabs nice and, you know, die cast nice and heavy there's some collector stuff in the background let's have a look what that is right so we've got so let's have a look then so i'm going to open this up yeah definitely this hasn't been used you can see that now we've got the stickers they just look like the standard optimus prime or convoy stickers shall we say that were released with the normal figure now i'm pretty sure same as the red one there is going to be different completely different stickers inside the trailer don't think I'm going to be putting them on because I'm not going to really be displaying the trailer. In all honesty, I'll have it out like that, but I'm not going to be displaying it open. The instructions are exactly that. We've then got like a little, I'm not sure what that is. I can't read Japanese. And then we've got the beautiful little collector's card as well. And once again, for those of you unaware, that is the Bathing Ape logo there. Yeah, there's all the stats. It's just like a tech spec. Right, let's move all of these out of the way so we can see. I can put these away later. So I'm just going to move this out of the way and I'm going to show you what I was referring to. So the trailer works exactly the same. The struts will come out to balance it up. We've got the lovely rubber tyres that we always had. Um, yeah, there's just, as I say, there's the Bathe and Ape logo. The rest of it is just camo. The drawer comes down as normal. And let's see what's inside here then wow look at the colors there and indeed look there you go there's these crazy stickers i was on about i think they're the same as the red one to be honest just with a different a more of a green to it there we go that's amazing um and there is the other side and for those of you anyway, it looks like it's got a super launch and if you're unsure in fact i might as well just show you but in japan because of the difference I suppose difference in toy licensing laws the launcher was like that it was what's known as a super launcher it was known as a trailer 6 t6 super launcher yeah you can see that in fact it's not as powerful as the original g1 um if you want to see the original g1 there is a video on here g1 optimus prime t6 super launcher but as you can see compared to where the usa version came out to about there 
it is much much further let's see how well it works and yeah it's okay it's not as powerful as the g1 the g1 is honestly it's a right force it's crazy right i think that's enough of looking at the inside so i'm going to fold this carefully back down and indeed will he sit in there no i'm going to fold this up and close that the actual cab itself again beautiful lovely chromed wheels rubber wheels chrome smokestacks full size so not cut off like all the newer editions of optimus primes that are a lovely chrome on the bumper it's just a great thing isn't it dark blue there there we go fold the legs down fold the toes out take out the arms fold it round I'm saying this like none of you have ever transformed an Optimus Prime figure before. Um, yeah, I suppose I could put some stickers there. Maybe, maybe not. And there is the lovely, lovely head. Right, this is the original Optimus Prime. Is it going to focus on two? I'm working with a new phone, so a new camera and a new area. But thankfully, it has focused in on there. That's the standard blue. This is the red bathing ape head. So it's a bit brown. And it compares really nice to be honest i've not stickered him up either actually i'm definitely going to open this because we've got to put his fists and indeed his gun in his hand and right there we go these are bloated parts as well so for those of you who don't know again original optimus prime figures were released with bloated parts and again there's videos on here with what i'm referring to if you don't um, again, if you're new to this channel, if you're unaware about Optimus Prime variants, there is so, so many uh, bloated parts, metal plates. The list goes on and on and on. It's a huge, huge wormhole. It can be quite interesting, uh, but it can also be frustrating because there's so many variants. Anyway, we're talking about this guy. Here's his green fists and he's got huge holes. See how big the holes are? That's because, the, again, the parts are bloated. So let's pop that hand in there let's carefully put this in and to be honest i'm going to be displaying him exactly like that let's bring up standard optimus to stand neatly in the middle and red bape optimus who looks brown i might have to put them stickers on the forearms to be honest along with the um jets i've been looking at doing as well but to be honest there's not much more to say about him it is just a redeco of a generation one optimus prime figure but it's just something that I wanted to share with you because you don't normally see many of them. So let me know what you think of him in the comments. And of course, oh, funnily enough, there's a little blooper at the end of this as well where I completely messed up the beginning. But I hope you enjoy it and take care. Hello, everybody. This is Toys R Us. And for this special figure showcase and review, we're going to be looking at the 2011 Japanese Bathing Ape Excuse? Excuse? <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> 